Okay, now we discuss the concepts of dividend discount model (DDM). So the DDM model is very commonly used to evaluate the stock, and here we will start with the preferred stock. The concept of dividend discount model is just to find out the net present value of the dividends of the stock is going to pay in the future, and by using an appropriate discount rate, then we will find out what is the price or the value of the stock which you are willing to pay for. For example, if we have a preferred stock, what we can do is to draw a timeline like this. So let's say today you decide to buy the stock, so you will have a cash outflow. So this cash outflow will be minus p. So our question is, what should be the value of the p? If it is a preferred stock, we know that it is going to pay a constant dividend, which is d. And this is a cash inflow from your point of view. So this is d. But most importantly, this is going to be repeated forever. So it means that we are going to have a D here, another the D here in the third year, another D here in the fourth year, and this just continue forever. If you don't sell the stock. Then you will expect to receive the same dividends every year, but you know that although the amount of dividends is the same in every year, but their net present value is different. This is due to the time value of the money. So in the dividends discount model, we will try to find the net present value of all the dividends going to receive, and this net present value will be the appropriate price p. And this is the maximum price we are willing to pay. So the net present value for the dividends in the first year is d divided by one plus k, and that of the second year is d divided by one plus k to the power two. And the net present value in the end year is going to be d divided by one plus k to the power n. And we know that this is going to be continued to infinity. So, if you want to evaluate the net present value of the dividends of the preferred stock, you have to sum infinite number of terms. The good thing is that we know that this is just a geometric series. Why this is a geometric series? This is one over one plus k times more than this one, and then the next one is going to be power three, so it is one over one plus k times more than the second one. Mathematically, we can derive that the sum of these terms is going to be d divided by k, and this is the p we are looking for. So, for example, if D equals to ten, which means that they will pay ten dollar every year as dividend, and K is equal to ten percent, then the price of the preferred stock will be equal to ten divided by zero point one, which is equal to one hundred dollar. So, please pay attention that for the K, you have to substitute it as a decimal number. So although this one looks simple, but this is the basic concept of the dividend discount model. In the other variation of the stock, it is just using the same concept. The only difference is just that the dividends may not be constant, 